When you go back to China again in the mid-60s, right. uh, just before, before the, the Cultural, Cultural Revolution. Revolution. But then it's interesting that the last interview, you, you had the first interview with mm -hmm. Mao Zedong. You also had the last interview with Mao Zedong in 1970. Mm -hmm. As the Cultural Revolution is peaking uh, and, uh, and all that is going on, and, and maybe the beginning of some doubts about uh, the wisdom of certain certain parts of, uh, of, of Mao, Mao's pro program. Tell us a, tell us a little bit about the la that last conversation with Mao. Uh, I had been invited over. Uh, this was going to be the 40, no, 21st anniversary of the um, uh, founding of the People's Republic of China, and there was an enormous demonstration in Tiananmen Square. And uh, Peg, uh, Lois and I had this, I had divorced Peg and I was married to Lois Wheeler, an actress, and she was very interested in what was happening in terms of ch uh, Chinese theater and how it was being used. We were invited to stand on the uh, Tiananmen Bridge overlooking this extraordinary display. And of course, by this time, the cult of Mao was in full swing and you had pictures of Mao everywhere and his sayings were everywhere. And uh, we were just a few people down from Mao himself, which was a position of great honor. And I felt someone pull on my coat it was Joe, Joe and Lai. And he took me over, and Mao greeted me, and I greeted him. And uh, he said, uh, you were somewhat critical in your last book uh, about us. And I said, yes, I, I was. And he said, but that's good. You need to maintain your independence of thought. Now, whether he meant this or not, I don't know. He didn't have to say it. <laughs> Uh, he, he, and say, he said to you, I think, you, you say, I, I never lie to you, and I believe you do not lie, lie to, me to me either. That's right. But That's you weren't right. so sure about yeah. that at the, at the time.